I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wrenches in my top drawer of my snap on box. Of my snap on box. I think I'm missing. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pliers in my bottom drawer of my snap on box. Get ready to fix some cars. Get ready to fix. Let's go. Hey, what's up, guys? It's MJ100K, and today I want to talk about one of my favorite tools. It's actually a tool cart for contractors. This is the Husky 18 inch rolling tool tote. All right, I've had it about a year and I love it. I'm not sponsored. I just like talking about tools. I don't get paid anything for this. So there's no links. You could just buy it if you want it. When I first started contracting about a year and a half ago, I was using these DeWalt bags and they just begin to get really heavy. And I started to look for other options to carry my tools around when I'm working contracting. So I got one of these Husky, uh, five gallon uh tool caddy things and i don't know it was just pulling my arm out of the friggin' socket my elbow was hurting so i decided to get one of these uh here this is how it looks when it's new anyway i like it because um see there it is from the back and uh it's got lots of compartments for everything so i like that so the organization is good, but the main thing I like about it is that it has wheels. I mean, why do you want to work any harder than you have to? The wheel was invented over 300 years ago. So we might as well take advantage and use wheels instead of just your brute strength like a caveman walking around with all your tools in a bag. So, so yeah, I mean... If you want to live to retirement, you know, if you want to retire in your 50s or 60s with your back still intact, uh, why not take advantage of using wheels instead of just carrying stuff? So like I was saying, my likes are the wheels. The size is actually really good. It fits in the front seat of my car and has lots of compartments for you to put things so that you could keep things organized rather than just having them uh, all over the place in a giant in a bag where there's no organization so I'm going to be going through the way I organize my bag and you will see that it is really good for keeping things where you can find them quickly after one year of professional daily heavy use I use this thing every day and you're going to see how it looks right now i use it for contracting and also for my handyman business that i do on the weekends so here you go as you can see it is used uh this thing still works sometimes it doesn't want to stick in the middle position if you gotta mess with it a little bit but it'll definitely stick in the fully up and fully down position so that's good enough for me uh, I literally drag this thing all over the place. Look at all these scratches. I drag it up my steps like every day. <laughs> and the wheels that have been used on gravel, dirt, uh, concrete, everything. And they're still spinning just as good as when it was new. The zipper. I don't even use the zipper. It still works, but yeah, I usually just leave it open. The Velcro, I don't know. No, I think that still works. <laughs> but here we go. I weighed it and it's got 63 pounds of stuff in it right now. <laughs> I don't know if what the weight limit is, but it's pretty heavy. And sometimes I put even more things in there. So how many tools can fit inside? Let's find out right now. Okay, so let's see what's inside. Oh, got tape measure. There we go, some ear protectors. These are my Allen keys. Got a cutter, more Allens. But, uh, magnets, some nail sets. This is good, all good stuff for contracting. Uh, suntan, or not suntan, uh, sunblock. Got a center punch. That's good for doing little knobs on cabinets and stuff. I used to use it when I was a mechanic to make the holes for spoilers. 
where the starter holds for spoilers. All right, got uh, my digital tape measure. I did a video on that if you want to see that how that works. So there we go. Scissors are good. Toothbrush in case I forget to brush my teeth. Toothpicks. Uh, some extenders for drill bits. Some um, wood glue. Not uh, got some sticky notes. Cardboard. A uh, cat paw. Another cat paw. I don't think that's the real name. Some uh, a uh, whole bunch of stuff. Pliers, etc. Screwdrivers. Harbor Freight Special. That's what I'm talking about. I think one of those is from AutoZone. Then got five in ones. Couple of them because I lose them. Pick set. Uh, that they and those are the side compartments. A uh, light, I always need the light. My uh, hearing protection, I call this the football. I got my drill bits in one, and you gotta have the football for contracting. And then you got your your metal drill bits, and then your wood pilot bits. You got to have the clear case so you can see it quickly. Because if you don't, then you got to like open up each one and figure out what's in there. Or I got a magnet. I use this magnet sometimes to find studs. Oh, got that dang uh, a mask. I did a video on that. Nail pullers. Dee, dee, dee. So exciting. Two nail pullers because I lose them. So a drywall knife. Uh, that knife is for uh, like fiber like um, insulation and then the uh, metal cutters and a little I forget what that thing called but I do use it vice grips this is awesome more Allen wrench this girl I work with she was like I'm gonna open up that bag and see everything that's in there because every every second somebody asks you for something and you almost always have it there's a lot of stuff in there uh, a couple levels Got some uh, little chisels. Uh, a lot of stuff. This is like my multi bag. Got my drill, impact drill, and my little drill. That's what all those attachments are for. I did a video on that drill. That is a very handy tool. And I use it quite, I use it like every day. What else have we got in here? Hammers, got three hammers, carpenter's hammer, snap on 40 ouncer, and a Harbor Freight rubber hammer. I got a giant a pry bar, very awesome. That's a baller status pry bar. I got my little Harbor Freight pry bars, those are good too. I got a long uh, needle nose. And another hammer. <laughs> Nothing but hammers. I got a oh this gyroscope uh screwdriver. This is so cool. I'm gonna do a video on this. You just hold it and then you stop and then if you hold it, it'll go back the other direction. You don't even have to do nothing. It feels where you're how which direction you're holding it in. Another tape measure because I lose them and people borrow them. I got a couple squares. Speed squares, a little plastic uh, tool. You use that for trim on cars, but I threw it in there. Regular needle nose pliers, uh, extension for impact bits, uh, lineman pliers, uh, some uh, 45 degree offset pliers. All this is good for, you never know what you're going to need. Some needle nose. Dee, 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 and 90 degree needle nose. I don't know how those got rusty. I'm going to have to buy some more for five bucks at Harbor Freight. Another little pliers. Well, that's not a plier. That's a, uh, I forget. I don't know. <laughs> well, but, so yeah, a lot of stuff in here and, uh, a lot of stuff could fit in there, and it's 
pretty organized and is durable. You know, I mean, nothing has broken, and I'll use the hell out of this thing. Look at all that stuff you fit in there. That is my multi-purpose bag. Well, thanks for tuning in, and have a good one.